so I'm recording again. Um, a little background information. I've been trying recording, trying out OBS Studio for the first time. Um, just been recording over and over and over, trying to get the settings right. So I just think I just got the first successful video. So I'm going to try this again, make sure it works the second time. Um, yeah, just a little background information using Super Tux Cart, which is free open source software, and I'm recording with OBS Studio, which is also free open source software. If you watched the previous video, I made a minor change. I dropped the um, game music volume down by an additional decibel, so the um, microphone might sound a little bit louder on this video. Um, see if that makes sense a bit better or not. Um, okay, so in the previous video I did the tutorial. Um, but I can show you real quick. Probably already saw this. All my game options. Um, graphic settings are maxed out. Um, okay. They're maxed out for me, but I had to turn down the video recording settings um, to prevent the screen from lagging, so you might not see as good a graphics quality as I can on my end when I'm playing versus recording. Okay, so I'm going to do another random game. Okay, that's the random player from last time. And just a reminder, these are all mascots for free open source software. Just gonna do random part, keep it easy, normal race, and I'm gonna do a random track. Random tracks are always interesting because I haven't actually played all the tracks, so sometimes I get surprised. Enable drive in reverse, that allows you to go backwards and start the race. Alright, here we go. Just a reminder, you can't go before they tell you to, where there's a penalty. Okay, okay so we're going to launch this bowling ball. Ooh! Give me some nitrous. Try to catch up. So I'm in the lead. Oh, that was slick. Okay. Oh! I think that was my own bowling ball! Oh no! That's, uh, that's karma. <laughs> You try to take out the other player with the uh, bowling. Oh, that was close. Someone's got the gum. So you try to take out the other player with the bowling ball, and it comes back to hit you. Your own bowling ball. This is tough. Okay. This is, I mean, I'm on the easiest setting here. Usually it's. I should catch up. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do, I can't look behind me. Let's try this. There we go. Oh, I pretend I missed them. Oh, uh, see, that's why you want to go backwards. <laughs> see, enable drive in reverse so you can back up when you get stuck like that. Okay. That launches a banana peel for anyone. Another sticky patch. But they're easy to go around. Unless there's other cards behind you, then you get tricky. This time. Okay, there we go. Ooh, nitrous. Nitrous makes you go fast. There we go. Right between them. There we go. Okay, we're gonna skid. Ooh, there we go. Is that preventing me from crashing? My bubble for protection. That allows, though, it prevents me from getting hit by any bowling balls. So. Out front. I am getting better at this. I see. Um, <laughs> so I've been doing these videos over and over trying to get the OBS Studio settings correct. And I am getting, each time I play, I get better and better and better. So, <laughs> so I'm still not quite ready, maybe, to try taking a more difficult setting. But um, I am getting better. So. There's 
not really anyone behind me to use a cupcake on, so... The cupcakes are explosive. They're like bombs. They're not sweet cupcakes. They're nasty bomb cupcakes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Fly swatter swats your opponents. Oh! Ah. Okay, I got overconfident there. I think someone nasty behind me is throwing stuff at me. Okay, I need to get my lead back. Okay. Make sure no one's following me. Basketball or something coming up behind me. <sighs> Come on! I think this is the toughest game I've ever seen in the novice setting. <laughs> okay. There we go. Speed up. Go fast. Okay, I won! Yay! Alright. So back to the menu. Alright, and before I go out, I'm going to show you some of the other stuff here I didn't show you in the first video. Um, we've got add-ons for the extra cards you can download, extra tracks you can download. There's my video. Arenas. Um, and then there's story mode. We'll go to story mode real quick. Not, I haven't done the story mode too much, but I think basically it allows you to do missions. So like each of these bubbles, I think, is a mission. It allows you to unlock different components of the game that are currently like you saw like some of the tracks are locked, some of the carts are locked. Um, I don't know how to unlock them. It's open source software, so you can pretty much do whatever you want. So anything you don't like in the game, um, the source codes. It's all completely open source, so you can modify it however you want. Um, anyways, um, so I haven't really done the story mode, so I don't really know where the bubbles go or what they do. Um, I'm not really sure how to use this part of the game. I usually just do the quick races. There's a, I've done a couple of them in the past. So. Anyways, I'm going to log out and check the video and make sure everything's actually working, so... Um, here, back to the menu.